Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Nessa Perez. Welcome to my very first makeup tutorial. Get ready with me review. Um, I thought I would start off my channel with a eyeshadow palette that most of you already have, and if you don't, you need to get out there and go get it. Like you. If you don't already have this and you are a lover of warm tone shades, the Morphe 3502 is perfect for you. Um, when I first saw this in stores, I knew I just had to get my hands on it. I just saw the shades Fire, Ruby and all the orange and burns and I knew I just had to have it. And when you open it, there's 35 shades. 35 shades. You know how much this was? $24. $24 USD. I got it from Ulta. And I know Ulta does not have it anymore. But I believe you could still get it from Morphe stores or Morphe.com. Those type of things. But um, 35 shades for $24. You can't beat that. It comes with a sheet of the names, so all the shades do have their own names, which is perfect. Because I can tell you which exact shades I use for my look without say, oh, I use this light brown, dark brown, orange. I right, they actually have a name. Plus, like each pan has 1.98 grams of product, meaning you're paying less than a dollar for each one of these shades which is a steal like oh it's amazing um what i'm going to do is i'm going to swatch it i'm going to do your makeup look for you and i'm going to give you my initial review over all of it um so please continue watching thank you okay so first of all what i like to do is put my hair back and I just use a general headband to do that. That way I get no makeup on my hair and <clears throat> everything's out of the way so that I can achieve the look that I'm going for. And then second, I like to put a layer of liquid highlighter down in these general areas underneath my foundation to give my skin more of a little like sun kiss glow icy glow underneath it to make me look a little bit more lively um today i'm using nyx's away we glow this is a liquid highlighter but it comes out on one of these stick applications so you can actually Pick out exactly where you want them to go. I am using little dots in the areas I would like to make a little highlight for. And then I will go back with my brush and apply it evenly on my skin so that when the foundation covers it, I still have that little icy glow underneath. I will be using this fluffy wood brush just to evenly distribute it. Mm. I'm using little circle techniques just so that it doesn't come out streaky or like a glob in one spot and nothing in another spot. You can already see that iciness, that icy glow already. That's how amazing this is for a low price. I think I got that at Target, I believe. Okay, and when that is finally evenly distributed, we are going to take our foundation. Mine is the Milani Conceal Plus Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer. Mine's almost out, but I'm going to be doing the same application process, the dots 
and then evenly distributing it with more brush. You can either use a brush or a beauty blender to do this as long as with a brush you don't get it streaky or you don't want a bunch of lines running down in your face. It looks like you sweat off your makeup otherwise it actually performs very nicely. I prefer using a brush for my foundation but it just determines on your preference and then I'm going to be using this flat brush from Isabella Scott it's perfect it's soft and this process you actually want to take your time with like I said you don't want it coming out streaky you want it coming out nice and layered covering up any spots that might have a little bit of redness or I don't know, just making your face look nice we're going to do this nicely all the way around where we have spotted the foundation I really love the way this foundation covers up everything um, your redness anything like that it's actually very very good I would highly recommend this foundation for anybody that has combination skin okay and then it's evenly distributed your face should be glowing more don't forget to get a little bit of your neck because you don't want your neck and your face two different colours. That would be really, really funny and very obvious that you're wearing makeup. Okay, when we are done, we are going to do the world's most daring thing, but we all love doing it. Love contouring. I am going to be using Beauty Creations Contour Cream Palette. I'm, I'm going to be putting this yellow, banana yellow colour underneath my eyes. I'm going to be using this white colour for right on my chin right here and above on my forehead. And I'm going to be using this middle brown colour for contouring of the cheeks, forehead, and right here on my jawline just to like make it thinner as much as I can and then I'm going to be using this last colour right here just for my nose to make it look a little slimmer but thankfully there's this little mirror right here that will help me do this and I'm going to be using this little spongy applicator that everybody else throws away to apply the areas um, where I'll be contouring so let me start with that banana yellow on the easy eye trying to hide away any dark circles that lets you know I don't get enough sleep in my life <laughs> we're gonna make it a little dark but just enough so that we can blend it in later blending is going to be the key to contouring with this lighter color i'm going to make it go all the way down my nose for that slimmer uh, sophisticated look and then right there on my forehead and last right here on my chin and like I said with this medium brown ish color I am going in and I'm going to make one line 
like here on my cheek I'm going to do the same on the other side like there on my nose and on my forehead I'm going to be adding the little dots just to make it easier to blend out uh, right underneath my chin where my neck meets so you should have some kind of crazy makeup face right now and we're gonna take that lovely beauty blender I have this thinner one uh, you guys probably had the egg shape one and we're going to do the light or the dark colors first and then we are going to go back in and start blending out the lighter shade on top this is another part like another step that is really really time consuming but it pays off in the end I promise I would highly suggest that you actually take your time to make sure that all of it is blended so that you don't have any patchiness or like random dark spots And I like to flip mine around to the lighter side of my beauty blender and then I am going to blend out the lighter shade go over it over it all right if it takes you a little longer and once you are done we can go on to the next step okay right, so once your contour is done you want to set and bake it so I am actually going to be using Bella Terra mineral cosmetics powder and I'm going to bake it across right here underneath the eye and right underneath where I contoured on my cheek and I believe the best way to do this is by taking that beauty blender and just setting your lick it's alright if it's messy you're going to brush off the excess after you let it sit for a while there okay so while that bakes let's go ahead and start on our eyebrows all right so for my eyebrows today i am actually using elf cosmetics a brow cream and the color medium burn and i'm going to be taking my little brush right here with this little pot at the end and i am going to start by marking where I want the start of my eyebrows to go. Where I want the top of my arch, arch to go and where I want it to end. Just so I know the general shape that I am going for on my eyebrows. And then I am going to carefully fill it in so that it doesn't look like I used a Shopee on my eyebrows today. Just carefully take your time. Eyebrows are supposed to be sisters, not twins. They don't have to look exactly the same. Because, let's face it, 
I'm not that great at it, but as long as they look similar, you're all good. And if it gets a little messier on the edges, you could always fix it with a concealer afterwards, uh, which is exactly what I'm going to do right before we actually start on the eyeshadow. Okay, so by the gist of everything, we pretty much have the eyebrows done. So let's get ready for eyeshadow. What I like to do before I actually start on my eyeshadow look is I like to prep my eyes with this e.l.f. concealer in the in the shade Fair because my skin is super fair. So I like to just take my spongy brush here and apply a very like thin layer onto my eyelids uh, all the way up to the brows just so I get that rich pigment um all across my eyes and uh, it makes blending like a dream pretty much you now you don't have to do this you could skip this step if you want it's just what I like to do on my eyes. Okay, and when I am all done, I will let it sit there, dry up a little bit. And while we wait, let's go ahead and take out our lovely Morphe 3502. Oh, I love this. It's so gorgeous. The packaging, just everything about it just screams me. Um, let's go ahead and remove the colours. Oh, just look at those lovely shades. Oh, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and grab this two-sided brush from Anastasia. I believe I got this out of the Subculture palette. And I am going to grab this colour right here, the Universal, as my base. I'm going to just put it everywhere, um, up to right here on my eyes. It'll be my little base colour. Um, for this, I like to do little circles, just to get that roundness. But... Let it have free room on the background. This is the background character that nobody hears about, but it is st still there. It is still needed for to perform this amazing look. I'm going to do the same to the other eye. Because you can't do something too warm without the other. It gets jealous. Okay, when you have that thin, distinct background colour, you can add a little bit more if you would like. I'm just making sure my eyes are even together. Okay, and when you are done, we're going to grab this next colour right here, called Orb. And we're going to deepen that up a little bit, but not go all the way up. As far as you did with Universo. And we are going to do the same to the other side. Make it more of a vibrant, like butt orangey background to this furry, smoky look we're attempting. When you are all blended, if you want to, you can use the other end that is empty and just blend it up. A little more if it's more convenient for you. I actually like this brush because it has that. And that's the only reason I use the sign. Just for extra blending. And then I am going to go in with this colour right here. It's contour. And I'm going to deepen it up right there where I want my crease to be. So it's deep. It's like darkened but it's not too dark.
you want the top of the eye to be lighter and you want the sides the side over here to be darker so with this you could just do a moon motion going back and forth like a half circle so it just goes around where you would cut the crease you can do a couple no, like a couple of rounds of it, just to darken it up a little bit. It's still going to be a light brown, but it's there. Okay, and once we have that, it's beautiful already. We are going to put this down real, real fast. And you know, let's add one more color. Let's do one more. And just on the outside layer, we are going to add this beautiful color right here. It is called Heat. It's like a rusty red color. I, I think it's super gorgeous. And like, you don't need a lot to make it pop. A little goes a long way with this palette so just remember that like the pigmentation is so real you don't need a lot of product on your brush for it to like show look how gorgeous it is it's just blending in super nicely exactly what I look for in an eyeshadow Something that does that make me walk even harder than I already do. So that is what it looks like when you just smoky fire look right there. And now we are gonna set this down and we're gonna use that same elf concealer. I'm going to go ahead and cut my crease halfway. But because I have super hooded eyelids, I'm going to lift it up a little more just so I can show more on my eyelids that I am able to. I'm going to do the same process on the other side, just like so. Also, if you have any pointers on concealer for cut crease that is way better than this one please don't hesitate to give me any recommendations i'm still new to all this so anything helps when you are done go ahead and bring the palette back out and we're going to go in on this one on the inner all the way to the half and right at the very end, we're going to use this color right here called Ruby on the outer. And then we're going to go in with Wiz to darken it up on the outside. So let me show you what I mean. Let's go ahead and not use this brush, but we're going to use the one that Profusion gave me because it gives me a flatter one. I am going to dig in with that beautiful pure color and I am putting it on the inner side uh, inner half of the lid and if applying it with a brush doesn't show all the pigmentation on your eyes it is also a really good idea to apply it with only your finger it works beautifully both ways so Either way, you are going to get that phenomenal, shimmery look. Mm, look how shiny it is. Okay, let's go in with that red ruby shimmer shade and this blended art from the original uh, pure shade on the eyelid. Ooh, so gorgeous. 
and let's do the other side as well just look how gorgeous it's oh. and then with the little brush again we are going into that black color whiz who is a really good character in Dragon Ball Super if you watch that Just be delicate with the block. It is very, very pigmented. A little bit goes a very long way. Oh, so gorgeous. Do the same thing to the other side, adding that weave. I barely even have to dip my brush into it. It comes off so easily, which I love in a black eyeshadow. I think Morphe's doing great with black. Like, the black in this one is phenomenal. And then if you have the Jacqueline uh, Hill Vault Collection, I think it's Bling Boss. Yeah, Bling Boss. It has all the proper shades, but there's this one black shimmery shade in it. It's so gorgeous. I love using it. I am shocked I'm not using that right now, but I decided to just use this one. Okay, so once you are done adding it to both corners beautifully, even, we can go ahead and add your mascara eyeliner on the top and any falsies like false eyelashes or anything like that and then we'll come back and we'll finish the waterline all right so i didn't apply any lashes i just applied this elf <laughs> it's upside down elf mascara i think it's really good for really cheap and i applied the elf double eye uh, matte and shimmer eyeliner to the very top on the bottom we're gonna take that lovely ruby shade and we're just gonna put it along the bottom uh, of our waterline just for like an accent color I think it's very beautiful I would have used the color fire but I wanted a shimmer shade under my eyelids instead of a vibrant matte And I think this works beautifully well by itself, just like that. And then I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. on the matte side and then just add it to my waterline. Oh, I don't know if people still put eyeliner on their waterline, but I do. I think it gives a smoky eye, like, like a perfect, like, look at it. It just ends it so perfectly. Um, also, I am still getting adjusted to wearing false eyelashes. So if you have any recommendations, like how to put them on and any recommendations on which lashes for me to get, leave them below in the comments. Okay, so we are done with our eye look. We are going to take this beautiful soft brush and wipe away the excess setting powder that we put out so that we don't look like we are a hot mess mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay and let's go ahead and get our blush i actually don't have a blush palette yet but i love using lunatic cosmetics and this one, it's so gorgeous, look at it, oh, there is a blush right here called Super Leonard that I love to use. And I have like this mini brush, I just carefully dab it in and give my cheeks that rosy blush. Oh, Lunatex Cosmetics is really great with their eye shadow formula and blush formula 
I'm actually going to be reviewing this palette later on down the line. Uh, anything else you want to see by this this brand, just comment below as well. Um, there, so rosy. Oh, I love it. It's so gorgeous. And then I'm going to be using Profusion's Illuminator One. And when you open it up, it has these beautiful, gaudy, brassy um, highlights on the side and then icy ones on the side. I'm actually going to be using Lightning right here. I think it's super gorgeous. On the other side of my Profusion brush, I like to use the side for highlight. And I'll be adding it to my cheekbone, right to the side. Yeah, I'll show you how amazing it is. Just look at that. It's only like $5 for this at Target, at least out here in the United States. Just look how amazing, like look at that. Oh, it's so pigmented, it's so, yes, like, I'm pretty sure Jeffree Star would approve it. Jeffree Star approved, woo! And then right here on my nose, and we're going to add it right above the eyeshadow that I just finished. Just to give it that more illuminating look, huh, illuminating, like, illuminator. And right above it, like you can never have too much highlight. Highlight is amazing. Uh, and we are done with that. So go ahead and do your hair, and we'll be right back. And there you go. That is our finished look using the Morphe 35OT Second Nature. I hope you enjoyed it. Alright, so let's just go ahead and jump in into these swatches because I know you're excited to see them as much as me. Well, okay, so this first colour is called Universal. It's actually going to match my skin tone, so it's going to be harder to see on me. But as you can see right there, they are there. It's just hard to see on my skin colour. This next colour is called Pure. It's the one I use for on top of my cut crease. Look how beautiful and shimmery it is. Next colour is called Orb. <coughs> Look at that. It's a quarter. This is Tan. These mattes are so soft. They're so creamy. It's so easily blendable. This is Sizzle. Oh, look at that. Amber. Amber look. Alert me of that pigment. What? And this is bronzy. Which is named perfectly. Alright, so first colour on the second row here is a look. This next colour is the other one I used on the cut crease or right above it. It's called Contour. This is that rusty red heat colour we also use. This next one is an orange called a blaze. Look how beautiful these oranges. This next shimmy colour is called soft look at this oh my god it's so gorgeous this vibrant colour that caught my attention when I first saw it is fire look at that matte vibrant matte shade and the last colour on this row is ruby look at those Shades. It's so gorgeous. And on to the third row, we're starting out with Zodiac, a beautiful shimmery shade. We're going next 
to polish. Which is so, so pretty. On to spice. Terracotta. Oh, I could play in these matte shades. They're so buttery and smooth. This is brick. Rustic. And the bee. So, so beautiful. Let me show you the fourth row, which starts with dust. Look how amazing that just came on. This is risky. Chestnut, which is more like a burgundy brown. Halo, a beautiful shimmery shade to go with it. Then we have rich, the rich golden brown. Next we have brave. And then the last one on this row is in the zone. And most of all, all of these are matte except for this middle shade. And then let me go ahead and finish this palette off with the last row with Fawn, Stone, Ooh. So Warm, Toast. Brunette Muddy And of course that amazing matte black Look how amazing they came out So that is all of the colours on this palette I told you they were beautiful and richly pigmented and I did not lie to you. So, any last minute thoughts? I definitely love this palette. Like the pigmentation is there, the shimmery shades are there, there's enough colour schemes to make so many different looks from neutral to warm tones, orange, browns, reds, it's all there for you. $24, this is a must. Would I recommend it? Definitely. As you saw, it was so easily to put on the eyes. The swatches were amazing. There is no lying. The formula is so much better. So if you were trying to figure out if you wanted to try more of you for the first time, this is a very good palette from them to start. And uh, they have a whole bunch more and they're all like on a budget, like budget friendly. Um, I believe that they are um, animal friendly as well, but if I'm wrong, please let me know in the comments below. Um, I want to know what you guys, what you guys' opinions are on this palette as well. Um, if you have any recommendations for me, um, everything, I want to hear from you guys. So let me know what you guys think of this video. Please like and subscribe. There's going to be more. I'm planning on doing two videos a week from now on. And thank you so much for listening. Um, have a great day.